case that's now a high stakes rematch. He has a much better choice than Stacey Make sure that Stacey Abrams is not going to be our governor or the next president. Governor Brian Kemp winning the Republican primary in the Georgia governor's race. And he pulled in 73% of the vote tonight. Now, this win sets up a rematch of the 2018 governor's race in Georgia with Stacey Abrams that happened back in 2018. Our Brooke Butler has been following this race all night long. And she is at Governor Kemp's watch party in Atlanta. Let's go to her live now. Uh, Brooke, you know, Kemp versus Abrams. This is the political rematch that we had been expecting. High energy here at the College Football Hall of Fame tonight. Everyone here just excited that their gubernatorial pick is walking away with a victory tonight. We're excited about it because uh, we want to see the state continue on a good path. So it seems like everybody else is excited about it too this year. Georgia has been on a rise. Georgia will continue. And that's what I'm excited about. I'm excited about continuity. Bring it, Stacey Abrams. We're ready for you. And speaking of Stacey Abrams, in his victory speech tonight, Kemp spoke at length about how important he feels it is for him to beat the Democratic candidate in November. Take a listen. Georgia will never be on Stacey's mind because her priorities are not our priorities. Her radical ideas are meant to please people in New York California and Chicago who are funding her campaign so she can head straight out to Iowa or New Hampshire next year, leaving you hardworking Georgians behind to pick up the pieces. But unfortunately for Stacey Abrams, the people of our state aren't going to be used as a stepping stone to the White House. Well, he's laying down the gauntlet of what his campaign is going to be about, but Brooke, now that Kemp has secured the Republican nomination, do you have an idea of what's next for David Perdue? Will he be on the campaign trail uh, now campaigning for the incumbent to win? Governor Kemp's victory speech tonight, he actually said that he received a call from David Perdue. He said Perdue pledged his full support to ensure that Abrams never becomes governor of Georgia, Greg. Buck Butler reporting live in Atlanta tonight. Thank you.